Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin dialog tutorial using boilerplate. This is our part number 28. Inside this video session guys, we will see that we are going to add a book cell filled data to our create book form. In the last video, we had completed about delete book self operation. If we back to admin panel, so inside last video, this is the delete operation we had completed. Now inside this video, if I go to create book form, now inside this create book form, as we can see that here, we have no field of to select a book self. We are going to add a form means a field for the book self so that while creating any book, we need to select a book self so that we are going to tell that where this created book should placed inside which book self. If I if I back to table, now inside this TPL books, we have added a column called self underscore ID. Inside this ID column value, we are going to store all about the self ID and this self ID is from this book self table. So here, from this book self ID, it means this is the ID we are going to store inside book table. So first of all, we need to populate all these data right here inside this create book form. So we need to add a drop down of book self. Back to editor. Now go to partials folder. This is all about create book. And inside this, simply we need to add a drop down. So if I copy this status because it's a drop down and let me place, let's say that after name value or it's a before name value. So here we are taking about the book name. So before that, let's say that this is all about, let's say select book self here and inside this, let's say dd underscore book self if I copy this pasting it here and all we need to place our book self inside this drop down so for the static value self one one value if we save all these changes back to admin panel reload this page now here we have called select book self back to editor now here instead of this first value Let's say that choose something self here and the first value should be empty and it's a required fill value. Now let's say that we need to populate all the created book self inside this drop down. So go inside this main file of this admin panel, scroll down and if I search TMPL, let's say if we search for the create book, and it will be something TMPL and here it is this is for the book self and this is for the create book again I need to place here so something TMPL book self this is create hyphen book here and here it is now what we want we want that okay again I am going to back listing books and this is for the create book now what we want we are going to add a book self data so let's say that in the listing of book self the same query actually we had done here and here it is all we have to select all the data from this book self table and dynamically we are going to read this variable to our view file. So if I copy the piece of code, scroll down to create book and here inside this create book, I am going to pasting it here. Now this code is basically to select all the data what we have, what we have stored inside this book self table. So directly we are going to take all the book self value. Now remember, if we back to table, 
go to book self data now here inside this we have several number of columns but we want only about the ID and the self name back here let's say that we want only ID and self name go inside this create book remember we have now variable equal to book self so copy this variable name go to create book writing a PHP code and let's say that if count book self greater than zero using for each loop to iterate over the values so here inside this for each loop I am to use called option and inside this simply write let's say that echo we want to make the first letter capitalize so we need to use called UC words it will capitalize each word each first letter of each word so copy this value pasting it here and we have the variable name called book underscore self not exactly it is I think it is self underscore name so copy and pasting it here now again if I copy this PHP code go inside this option pasting it here and inside this value I am to paste the ID value and also get rid of this UC words all we have done now inside this value we have used the ID value and inside this option tag we have used the self name so if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page click on this choose self drop down and inside this drop down we can see all about self 1 self 2 and so on so instead of UC word let's use about str2 upper function this is a PHP function which makes a string value into uppercase value so if I reload this page and here it is so this is video is only about to adding a book self row inside this create book form in the next video we will use all these values like, like self ID book name book email publication and so on to save inside this create book table inside this table we are taking all the informations like name amount description and so on so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day